I'm Mega Rosie and I'm here with Centre Spike and Indigenous. They've just played at the Black Swan, it was heavy. Um, we're all looking pretty sweaty because we've had a wonderful time having a good old skank. skank um, how, yeah. uh, how did you enjoy your set? Very much so. Uh, it's been a dream coming to Bristol. And what made you decide to actually play for Jumps and Get? It coincided so, with the release of our LP on Tickets Recordings. And that's up for pre order now on Vine? Uh, no. The first album just dropped, the second one. Won't be done for like a year. How did you guys get into the scene? I suppose I got into drum and bass through. Uh, I'm, I'm from the states, I'm from California, uh, the Bay Area. I was first exposed to drum and bass through uh, mixtapes, um, Diesel Boy mixtapes, and then you know always fond of the tech edge sound from the very beginning. So I used to play a lot of shit. Then I started going to the massive raves they used to have down there before they um, shut them down around 2000. But I went to those raves with more like house head breaks and yeah. people, and uh, but then quickly got into drum and bass, walking through those raves and I kind of fell in love with that around the circle like '99, and then uh, yeah, that's how I got into it. And how long have you been producing? Uh, since 2002, so about 13 years. And you? About the same as this dude. <laughs> I use Digital Performer, which is a, kind of a random program that I inherited from my friends who were awesome breaks producers. It's lesser known, it's, it's a great program, it's got some limitations, but I think it's Are you using advantage. any hardware? Uh, not besides a microphone and um, just basic like audio interface kind of stuff. Yeah, you know, I've used keyboards in the past, but not so much anymore. And what do you use? Orion, which is a Synapse application. They're German dudes, they did Junglers VSTI and then they created this Orion program and I've been using it since day one uh, just because that's what I've learned. And it's a lesser known program as well. Yeah. Like, so you guys are from completely different parts of the world, you're using completely different, uh, well not completely different but different softwares, yeah. from different backgrounds. How he's, the hell have you ended up working together? He's Mac on PC, he's American, I'm Australian, this is a good banner. <laughs> Just the fucking styles, man, like the sci fi deep dark drum bass. I think what we have in common is a common inspiration from uh, early, uh, like, dystopic sci fi movies that aliens, get translated aliens, aliens like alien. Terminator, Terminator, Predator kind of things that we've, we've, we both grew up on and, and uh, translated into a visual. Or a so, how format. did you actually find each other though? SoundCloud. Okay. Yeah, yeah SoundCloud's a beautiful thing. Bam. Yeah, yeah, commenting on each other's tunes and then. And then chatting and then remixing and pretty then sure collaborating. I, pretty what sure I, I heard your shit before saying cloud. Yeah, and I just started commenting. Likewise, on, likewise. On yeah. So this leads on to my next question well, because I wanted to ask you what your influences were and are. And of course you've touched on movies there, so that's one thing. What else has influenced you both? Well, um, I play didgeridoo, even though I'm not Australian, which is a, just a strange coincidence. Um, I, so I make didgeridoo music, which is very tribal. It's an Australian wind instrument. It's the oldest wind instrument on the man. It's just a hollow branch that you uh, resonate through. And that sound, I was a didgeridoo player before I got into drum and bass. That's why my name's Indigenous. That was my didgeridoo alias. So it has a word dig in it. And then uh, I started getting drum and bass, which is like, you know, percussion oriented. Didgeridoo goes well with that. So that informs my drum and bass style, but then mix that with sort of like a techish, like sci-fi futuristic sound. I was inspired from from the very beginning because of those movies, and because of everything else. Yeah, exactly. So aside from techish, would you say there's any particular artist that Lime you Wax. To? I have followed Lime Wax for like two years trying to imitate his sounds. I'd get his fucking vinyls and I'd slow them down just to try and copy the beats. This is a pretty hard one as well, um, but I'm going to ask for one from you both. If you're really struggling, you could do top three, but I'd like to know some like all-time favourite rave tune. My favourite drum and bass tune is by Hive, and it's called okay. Straight Razor. Sweet. It's Hive and actually someone else there. That's my favourite drum and bass tune. Excellent. To me, it's a rave tune. Yeah, of course. Drum and bass is definitely a rave tune. If you listen to that track, you can kind of hear it in my style. Um, where would you like to see yourself in five years? I'd like to see him living in California, maybe, or 
We, we've had brief chances in the last year to actually sit in a studio together for the first time and work together, and we're about a hundred times more productive. Yeah, dude. But we can be in the same room because we're, we're always because we're using different back and forth. It's yeah. not the same. Primordial resistance was done completely over the internet. Really. And then we've already yeah, not having that constant bouncing off each other must be yeah. tough. When this motherfucker came to Canberra, we were in my room for like a week and a half. We pumped out ten tracks in a week and a half. The same amount of work as what we did. I mean, we didn't finish it, but we got really good start. Well, thank you so much for taking the time out to have your interview with us. We should have done this. Um, I'm Do glad I... you enjoyed the show. I thoroughly did as well. <laughs> we yeah. should have done this before we played. <laughs> it's probably good. Yeah. It's all good. Big up. Big ups. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's an honor. Bristol Massive. Peace out. Love you all.